Hi there, I'm Sheila Pearl. I want to talk about sensuality. And I want to talk about an aspect of sensuality maybe you don't think of as sensuality. So when you think of sensuality, what comes to your mind? Hmm, I thought so. One of the things that often we forget is our sixth sense. It's a very important part of our sensuality. Our sixth sense is our intuition, often that little voice. There are many levels of intuition, by the way. But in my book, Ageless and Sexy, The Magic of Sensuality, I talk about the various aspects of sensuality for Stella and for others in Stella's life. In one of the chapters, I tell the story of how Stella wakes up one morning and her phone is dinging. Her bank is letting her know that her bank accounts are going down, down, down. And it's the middle of the month, it's February, it's cold, it's dark, and you know she's got more month than she has money to the month. And she hasn't paid her rent yet for her office, and she's feeling scared. One account's down to $2 and change, one's down to $4 and change, one's down to $11 and change. Well, that's giving her, you know, somewhere around $18 to $20 in her pocket. And it's scary. She goes into a panic. Now, I often say, where fear leads, you lose. And Stella knows that. You know, she has gotten used to listening to that little voice. And her little voice of intuition says, get dressed, go to your office, and meditate. And so she does. She goes to her office. She closes the door. She starts to meditate. And in the midst of the meditation, fear is shouting at her. You are in really a bad shape and you don't know what to do and you have no money. And so Stella has a little conversation with fear. And she says, come, take my hand. I know you mean well. We've been here before down this corridor of uncertainty. Here, take my hand. Let's walk together. And she continues in her meditation. And in the midst of the meditation, she hears a message. The message is points. You've got points. Stella opens her eyes. She looks around. She talks to herself saying, points? What points? What are you talking about? And the little voice says, go to the bank. You've got points. Ask the bank manager about your points. Stella is clueless. She doesn't pay attention to her mail. She doesn't pay attention to rewards programs. She just is clueless about a lot of things. So she goes to the bank and she asks, so do I have some kind of points? The bank manager says, well, we used to have rewards programs and we recently discontinued them. And if you haven't, re you know, if you haven't redeemed any of those points, we might be able to do something for you. So let me talk to customer service. So a few minutes later, the bank manager says, well, Mrs. Pearl, I got good news for you. This is actually a true story. It's in my story. So it's Stella, it's Sheila. What can I say? I got good news for you. We have $674 in uh, unredeemed points that we can put into your bank account. Anything else I can do for you today? So Stella says, no, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. And she rushes out, hoping the bank didn't discover they made some mistake of some kind. So here is an example of how Stella tuned into her sensuality. She tuned into her intuitive wisdom. She listened to that little voice that says, pay attention to something you haven't been paying attention to. And that particular exercise in paying attention and discovering she had something she didn't know she had she was able to pay her office rent and then some. So what are you not listening to? How are you not paying attention? How could you pay attention to the things that matter if you got silent and listened to your sixth sense, your intuition? In my book, you learn much more about how Stella listens to that little voice every step along the way. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, 
Grab it now from Amazon. Hope you enjoy.